Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and today we're gonna be talking about S-Video. So in this video, we're gonna cover what exactly S-Video is, we're gonna talk about it then versus now, we're also gonna talk about uh, compatible consoles with S-Video, and then I'm also gonna show you the difference between composite and then S-Video and why S-Video is awesome. So let's go get started. Okay, so S-Video stands for separate video. S-Video is an analog signal, meaning that the game console is sending a message directly to the television through the cable the entire time. So is composite, they're both analog signals. Composite is only transmitting through that one yellow cable. The red and the white is your stereo sound. The yellow cable gets every video signal. So S-Video being separate video is because they separate the video signal between chrominance and luminance, your, uh, or chroma and luma. Your luma signal, or Y, is all of your brightness. So all the brightness is being transmitted through one separate cable, and then for your chroma, or C, is all of your color. So all of your color is being transmitted through a separate video signal, hence separate video, or S-Video. Now that improves the image clarity because it's being transmitted through multiple uh, signals like uh, RGB SCART, EuroSCART, or actually it's just called SCART, which transmits RGB, which is red, green, and blue. So it transmits three separate colors individually, as opposed to S-Video, which just does all color and then all brightness. It's still a huge upgrade from standard composite. So, S-Video then was, um, it was kind of like an upgrade to composite where a lot of televisions had S-Video a little later on, like a lot of the flat screen CRTs, the Sony Trintrons had uh, S-Video ports on them directly. Not all TVs did though, so a lot of them just had standard composite, and that's why a lot of consoles just came with a standard composite cable. So you can play, back in the day, it was like an upgrade, and I always remember hearing about, you know, S-Video, S-Video, S-Video. My TV didn't have an S-Video port, so I never got into S-Video, and I just played through composite. But in today's day and age, where all of these consoles uh, also do S-Video as well, you can play them through S-Video. So what I use is I use an S-Video to HDMI adapter. Now this is converting the analog signal to a digital signal. And these converter boxes, um, they can burn out. And uh, so that's why I have them all separately plugged into a separate power strip. So when they're not in use, I turn them all off because they'll tend to overheat. And that's why I actually added a heat sink to mine to maybe prevent that from happening to preserve my S-Video to HDMI box. And that's how I record, even though all my old um, gameplay footage was all in composite because I didn't have that box. So all my new gameplay footage will all be in uh, S-Video. And then also this S-Video switcher box is so I can plug them all in at once and then I can just switch between all the different consoles in S-Video. So S-Video is good because it's almost like uh, you get better image clarity than composite, but you don't have to go out and spend all of the money for like an RGB gaming setup or HDMI modding everything. So it's better image clarity, it's a good significant jump, it's enjoyable, it's, it looks really good. Doesn't look the best, but it looks very, very good and much better than a regular composite. So, compatible uh, S-Video consoles, the Super Nintendo does it natively, PS1 does it natively, PS2, Dreamcast, N64, uh, the original Xbox, they all do S-Video natively, but you have to go out and get an S-Video cable for them and then a way to plug it into your TV, which is, like I just said before, it's almost like a 
it's like a budget version of doing like an RGB gaming setup or HDMI. And it's nice because it's easy since a lot of them do it natively. Now there's other consoles that don't support it natively but can be modded to do S-Video such as the Sega Genesis, the Sega 32X, which will include the Sega CD because it'll be transmitting through the 32X or the Sega Genesis. And then also like the Sega Master System and then the uh, Super Nintendo Mini, which can also be S-Video modded. So even if it doesn't support it natively, you can still get S-Video out of some of those older retro consoles, which is awesome. So, essentially why s video so let's uh let's go take a look at some games where i'll be showing you them in composite versus s video so let's go take a look so you can see the image clarity yourself I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thanks for checking this out. Thanks for like, commenting, and subscribing, all of that. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.